they were just the perfect couple, just the perfect family. Amanda Jan was driving home, so her two children, Ryan and Caitlin, could see their dad before he headed off to his second job as a tow truck driver. She had just called her husband about a few minutes before saying that she was on her way. The Jan's pastor says minutes later, ambulances were called to a two-car collision in nearby Mazan. And then he has a scanner because he's on the fire department and, and heard that they were calling out the, the license number to identify the car and it was his license number. At the scene, Josh Jan found his children's belongings strewn across the field. His wife was dead. The children soon would be. The Grundy County Sheriff says it's all because Anne Marie Getz, a suspected drunk driver, broadsided the family's car. She failed to stop for the stop sign and struck the John vehicle um, in the driver's side door. Sheriff Marchetti says Getz is hospitalized in intensive care with non-life-threatening injuries here at Morris Hospital. She faces charges for felony DUI and disobeying that stop sign, but the sheriff says those charges could be elevated to aggravated DUI and reckless homicide. Court records show Getz has been arrested twice for DUI. In July 2001, she got supervision. Seven months later, the second DUI landed her in jail for 60 days and cost her her driving privileges for a year. The Secretary of State's office says Getz got her license back in December 2005. I think we're all frustrated with the system that allows us to continue. But the pastor also preaches forgiveness for the woman accused of leaving a father without his family. They're better off and he will see him again someday. And that's what's getting him through this. Kevin Tomich, Fox Chicago News.